incredible. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna try and get a better view and uh, I won't risk talking to you um, just in case I spook them. moose let's try and get some images morning and welcome back to another video. So as mentioned on my last video I'm now up in the Obisco National Park and where the hope is to see and photograph the Northern Lights. I arrived yesterday late afternoon and uh, went out last night, set the alarm like every hour, looked out the window and um, sadly it was far too cloudy. I also had a night before that about three hours south of here um, in like one of these open roof pods and um, sadly again too cloudy to see any northern lights so last night when I was checking into my hotel up here in the Obisco National Park I got chatting to the lady that works on the reception and I started like naturally asking her if she knows of any places where I can find moose and I know I sound like a broken record at the moment about these moose um, but she was kind enough to just give me a couple of locations that she thinks I might have a good chance so this morning I've come to one of the locations that she was kind enough to recommend and uh, yeah it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful and I've already seen moose tracks and moose poo everywhere. Oh I saw a red squirrel before actually which is the first one I've seen over here. Um, didn't manage to get any good images or anything like that, I got one quick snapshot as it ran in front of me in the forest um, and I'll put that on the screen now. But yeah, really cool to see. So who knows, we might see other things. I mean, I've seen some foxes whilst I've been here too. Um, not in this exact forest, but whilst I've been in Sweden. Um, so you never know, we might see some other cool things, but it really is the moose that I'm after today. So I've decided that I'm dedicating this whole day just to try and to find a moose. I don't care if it's a million miles away and you can barely see it through the viewfinder. I just really, really want to see a moose in the wild. So um, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. That said, I've still got the issue that I discussed in the last video where when I'm walking, like I'm quite loud. Um, so I've decided to come up quite early. It's pretty cold. I think like when I woke up this morning, the thermometer at the place I was staying was reading like minus nine like Celsius. So it's, it is pretty chilly. Um, but I'm gonna take a walk through this forest following some moose tracks and see if we can see anything. Now, obviously it's gonna be quite difficult keeping quiet and talking to you guys the whole time so I feel like the pieces to camera in this video might be limited or certainly at the start because the last thing I want to do is like blow all of my hopes of seeing um, some moose before I've even kind of started so that's why I've decided to stop on the edge of the forest now talk to you guys let you know what we're about to do and then we're gonna go off and search I've got all day so um, I've got I've got quite a few hours to try and find them I don't know, the lady on reception just made it sound like it should be easy. She was like, oh, moose, yeah, sure, they're everywhere. Um, <laughs> which is kind of frustrating to hear. And I believe her too, because I've seen tracks and signs of them everywhere too. All the road signs like um, have moose and reindeer on. 
I've only actually seen one reindeer and that's whilst I was driving yesterday so I couldn't stop and yeah no moose yet so uh, and I've been in Sweden for what are we today Tuesday so I've been in Sweden for just over two weeks now so yeah either people are just winding me up or I'm just um I'm just pretty unlucky at the moment anyway I'm gonna stop talking because I'm excited to get going and I'm getting pretty cold just sat here so um let's go for a wander through the forest and see what we can find So this has proven to be quite difficult. I've been in the forest now for a couple of hours, or just under two hours. Um, and I know that's not a long time in the grand scheme of things, but given the amount of tracks there are, and the amount of moose poo I keep coming across, I was hoping I'd catch sight of one at least. I'm not gonna give up though. I'm just gonna have a bit of a rest. I can think of worse things to be doing though, that's for sure. Oh, I just don't think, I can't remember the last time I wanted to find a subject this much. <sighs> Come on. Still feel optimistic. We've still got a few hours of daylight left, so. Yeah. Just be so good to see one. I know I said in the previous video that this might not be the best way to find them, just wandering through the forest following the tracks. But when I spoke to a couple of people in the um, lodge where I'm staying last night, this is exactly what they suggested to do. So they said in the summer, you can see them when you're just driving along, just out grazing in the fields. But uh, we're not in the summer. I don't know if you've noticed, it's uh, pretty wintry. And sorry if my hand's shaking as well, it's quite cold. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna sit here and chill for a bit. Keep looking whilst I'm sat here, but I'm gonna stop talking and uh, we'll get going again shortly. And hopefully we find one.
so I've been searching now for a good few hours and uh, the further I go into this forest like the less and less signs of moose I'm seeing and uh, I'm getting pretty cold like my face is pretty cold um, I think what I'm gonna do well I have to because we've only got about half an hour of good light left as well like most of the forest is in the shade now I think what I'm gonna do because I haven't really got much choice is um, start making my way back towards where I parked the car um, otherwise it's just gonna get dark so I'm starting to feel a little bit like like I'm losing hope for the moose really but um, it's still been a really really enjoyable day out I'm gonna keep trying I'm just gonna follow the tracks back and uh, hopefully we see something but uh, yeah it's just a shame we haven't seen anything so far but uh, other than poo and loads and loads of tracks but hey this is wildlife photography right and if it was easy it wouldn't be as fun so uh and i kind of wasn't really expecting to see one really i had a good feeling because the lady in the hotel said this was a good location and obviously when you see all these tracks and you see all of this like these this these droppings this moose poo i started to feel like really optimistic but um i think just walking in the deep snow makes it tough as well i keep talking about that but Maybe I would have had more luck if I just sat there and waited, but um, I've got to get back to the car, so I'm going to stop, stop waffling on and start making my way back and uh, keep my fingers crossed, I guess. some images. <laughs> 